Hello everyone and welcome back to Strata Games. I'm your host Matthew and today on Simple Strategy we've got my favorite game yet again. This is Seven Wonders Wonders Edition. Last week I walked you through some general strategy tips but now we're looking at the seven wonders from the main game and three of the bonus wonders and we're talking about some specific tips that differ depending on which wonder you have. All right first wonder we got is Alexandria. Now, if you're thinking if you should pick side A or side B, I would go with side B almost every time. This lets you play fewer resource cards, which I always do if I can. Try to get the first two stages of Alexandria built in the first era. Because of the versatility in those resources, this will let you play almost any strategy that you want. You could go for military, civic, science, almost anything that you want. This is definitely one of my favorite wonders. Also, don't forget that guilds can be quite powerful too, and this will certainly enable your guilds. All right, Babylon, side A or side B? I think side A is way less risky, but side B tends to be better. This wonder can be very swingy either way. Sometimes it's great, especially when you really want both of the last cards in an era. But the wild card science can definitely be hit or miss. If the science just isn't coming your way, I would look at playing the first two stages and then maybe just skip the final one in favor of a guild or something. Here's our first bonus wonder, Byzantium. I find side A to be better usually. Side A has a decent amount more points than side B. And while diplomacy can be really good, especially if your neighbors are going for military, I find that two diplomacy just isn't necessary most of the time. If you can time the one diplomacy on side A just right, then you can minimize military damage while also getting extra wonder points. Another great wonder, Ephesus. I'm gonna say side B is better on this one too. It's the same amount of points, but it's worth more money. Side B feels like a no brainer on this one. True, it is a little harder to play on the third stage, but that's what all that's money for, right? My strategy with this is to play fewer resource cards than I usually do, and then just spend all that extra money on buying from your neighbors. After all, money's only worth a little bit at the end, but that six pointer civic card or that extra science can look really nice at the end. Now Giza can be a toss up. Side B is definitely worth more points, but that extra stage can be a pain. I usually prefer B, but both sides are really good and I would not be upset to end up with this wonder. But no matter which side you get, make sure you are getting tons of resources. This is a very resource hungry wonder. Those resources also tend to line up really well with military, so maybe look at going into that as well. And now our second bonus wonder, the Great Wall. The Great Wall is named appropriately. Both sides are great. It depends on what your neighbors are playing, but you really can't go wrong with the Great Wall. I tend to prefer for B, but because you can build the stages in any order you want, the versatility really is unmatched. I would really just look at what your neighbors are playing and base your side off of that. Moving right along, we got Halicarnassus. I find Halicarnassus to be fairly weak on the B side. It's worth only three points and often, especially in smaller games, the discard pile just is not worth going through. Side A is worth more points and going through the discard only once doesn't feel too bad. However, a big game, especially six or seven players, this could be totally the opposite. Sometimes people are throwing away all kinds of good stuff and you just want to get in there as much as you can. Now Olympia, side A feels way less risky and I find it to be better because of the extra points. But if you have someone that's gonna be building tons of resources next to you, like Giza, side B can be pretty great. And now our third and last bonus wonder, Petra. I find side B to be better than side A. They're worth the same amount of points. And yes, you do have to spend 14 money all at once to get full points on side B. But unless you're short resources and having to pay your neighbors all the time, I find that having only two stages instead of three helps make up for that cost. And now our final wonder, roads. This one I feel is pretty obvious to me. Side B is yet again gonna be better. It's worth slightly fewer points, but it's worth more money and it only takes two cards to build instead of three. The biggest downside with this is that if you build it too quickly, sometimes you'll get a hand that doesn't have any good cards in it and you don't have any wonder slots to build. So you end up having to burn it for three coins. As long as you're aware of this, you should be able to time building the stages of your wonder appropriately. All right, those are all the wonders that we have today. I know that there's more bonus wonders and bonus expansions and seven wonders, and we're definitely looking at doing those in the future. I have leaders and armada in my sites particularly. You've just leveled up. Thanks for watching Simple Strategy. Let us know what you'd like to see next time, and we'll see you then.